China's VT-4 main battle tank versus South Korean K-2 Black Panther. Since its invention during World War I, tank technology has gone a long way. As part of an ambitious effort to modernize its defenses, China's military has begun research on developing autonomous armored vehicles, including battle tanks, for deployment in future fights. But can China's VT-4 outspace South Korean K-2 Black Panther? Let's know more. Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks, from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced battle tanks of the present. So stay with us till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. The VT-4 main battle tank, or MBT, previously the MBT-3000, is a third-generation MBT designed and produced by China North Industries Corporation, or Norinco. The hull of the VT-4 MBT is made entirely of welded steel armor and is built on tracked chassis. The tank's gross vehicle weight is around 52,000 kilograms. The tank has three crew members, the commander, the driver, and the gunner. The driver's seat is in the center of the forward hull, accessible by a single hatch. The commander is located to the right of the turret, while the gunner is seated to the left. Each side has a hull escape hatch. The tank has an air conditioning system, a fire extinguisher, and an explosion suppression system. On the other hand, the South Korean K-2 Black Panther is a new high-tech battle tank that will replace the K-1 series and M-48 tanks. The upgraded MBT has improved mobility and firepower over the K-1 vehicles and is widely recognized as one of the best main combat tanks in the world. The commander, gunner, and driver make up the crew of the K-2 Black Panther MBT. The vehicle is 10.8 meters long, 3.6 meters wide, and 2.4 meters tall. The vehicle has a 0.45 meter ground clearance and a combat weight of 55 tons. The V24 main battle tank is equipped with a 125 mm smooth bore cannon and is designed to combat armored personnel carriers, main battle tanks, infantry units, military installations, light vehicles, and low flying helicopters. The 125 mm gun is capable of firing armor piercing, fin stabilized, discarding Sabbat rounds, anti tank warheads, artillery, and guided missiles. The anti-tank missiles have a maximum range of 5 kilometers. The secondary armament consists of a remotely operated 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. While the K-2 Black Panther's primary armament is a 120mm L-55 smoothbore cannon with an automatic loader. The auto loader guarantees that projectiles are loaded as the vehicle is moving, even over difficult terrain. The 120mm gun has a rate of fire of around 10 rounds per minute. The tank's secondary armament consists of a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and a 7.62mm machine gun. Furthermore, the K-2 Black Panther has an automatic target detection and tracking system as well as a hunter-killer capability. It also has Doosan Corporation Motrol's electric gun and turret driving system, the 28260 VDC. The gunner's primary sight, GPS, and commander's panoramic sight, CPS, are both two axis stabilized and equipped with a thermal imager and laser rangefinder for day-night observation. The car has an air conditioning system as well as embedded training and a built-in test system. A global positioning system and an inertial navigation system comprise the navigation systems. The K-2 MBT also includes a battlefield management system that is linked to the C-4I system. VT-4 self-protection features. The main battle tank is outfitted with the GL-5 Active Protection System, or APS, which consists of four fire control radars with a detection range of about 100 meters. The APS on the roof provides excellent protection against main battle tanks, armored vehicles, anti-tank guided missiles, and anti-tank weapons. To defend the occupants, the tank is also outfitted with smoke grenade launchers and a nuclear, biological, and chemical protective system. On the other hand, the K-2 MBT has composite armor and explosive reactive armor. It also includes a collective nuclear, biological, and chemical defense system. The ammunition compartment has a blow-off panel to shield the crew from the explosion of ammunition. The MBT has an active protection system installed to protect it from anti-tank rockets and missiles. 
The MBT has an active protection system installed to protect it from anti-tank rockets and missiles, and it has both gentle and hard kill methods. A fire suppression system also protects the K-2 Panther. The vehicle is equipped with two banks of six smoke grenade launchers apiece. It also has an identifying friend or foe mechanism. A rear-mounted 1,200-horsepower turbocharged diesel engine paired to a hydromechanical drive system powers the VT-4 main battle tank. Off-road mobility is enhanced by the automatic transmission and torsion bar suspension systems. The tank has a top speed of 70 km an hour on roads and a top speed of 50 km an hour in cross-country situations with a maximum range of 500 km. It can scale 30% grades and 1.2 meter vertical barriers. While Tognum's MT-833 diesel engine powers the K2 Black Panther, the engine produces 1,500 horsepower and has a power-to-weight ratio of 27.3 horsepower per ton. The vehicle's fully automatic transmission has five forward and three reverse ratios. The tank has an in-arm suspension unit that allows it to maneuver well on soft soil and terrain with obstructions. The MBT has an off-road speed of 50 km an hour and a top speed of 70 km an hour on the road. It has a maximum road range of 450 km and can forward at a depth of 4.1 meters in water. The car also has a dynamic track tension system as well as roll, pitch, and bounce control. Furthermore, the VT-4 tank's gunner and commander are outfitted with a stabilized thermal imaging sight for target identification and recognition. The driver is outfitted with three observation periscopes. The fire control unit of the vehicle also includes roof-mounted panoramic sights, a laser warning device, and a computerized gun control system that supports day and night operations. In addition, a digital communication system is installed in the vehicle to offer communication and control capabilities to the commander. While the VT-4's capabilities are not innovative, contrary to some Norinco claims, it is a robust tank for its price that will most likely have good support from the Chinese manufacturing base. Because of the same cartridge arrangement, it has the same potential concerns as the T-72 and T-90 series in terms of survivability. While the gun's performance is unlikely to be on par with the latest American, Chinese, or Russian guns, owing to being built on last-generation round technology, it should be sufficient to counter most non-top-tier armored threat. As a result, the VT-4 is expected to be a popular export to states lacking the financial or political ties to Russia, Europe, or the United States as a good enough tank. And lastly, the VT-4 tank is designed primarily for export markets. Thailand bought 49 VT-4 MBTs from Norinco in three batches for the Royal Thai Army. In 2016, the order for the first batch of 28 tanks was finalized. The vehicles were delivered in October 2017 and tested in January 2018 by the Royal Thai Army. The 3rd Cavalry Division in Khon Kaen Province has 26 vehicles in service, while the remaining two are active with the Royal Thai Army Cavalry Center at Adderson Military Camp in Saraburi and the Army Armory Hall. Pakistan chose the VT-4 tanks to replace its aging MBTs in July 2019, and two upgraded VT-4 tanks were delivered in April 2020. Norinco delivered VT-4 main combat tanks to the Nigerian Army in April 2020. So which tank do you think is superior, the Chinese VT-4 or the South Korean K-2 Black Panther? Comment down below. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button and share it with all your friends and family. And if you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. And we'll catch up with you in the next video.